Hey, good morning. We're here at uh, Alton Towers Resort today. We're checking out the social distancing practices now the parks are open and what kind of security and procedures they've got in place. Um, with an incident happening at Thorpe Park around a week or so ago, uh, there was a stabbing incident, unfortunately. Um, we thought that they would have better procedures in place here, but seemingly they don't. They are just using a wand metal detector on the occasional person and then everybody else is going for a free-for-all really. You're able to, you're having your bags checked and things like that. Masks are mandatory inside and you have to wear masks on certain rides as well. There is a list of that on their website which I'll put a link down in the description for. And subscribe along and hit the bell icon to be notified when we post new videos. We'll be doing many things like this. but. Let's go and uh, have some fun and enjoy the day and get on some roller coasters. See, uh, see how busy it's going to be with the social distancing practices in place. Fingers crossed we can actually ride some things. Alright, first up on the agenda today, we're going to go on Wicker Man. So I've not been on this one before, it's a uh, wooden roller coaster, so this will be quite fun. Let's see. us in the queue for the Wicker Man. We're off a bit at this point now, as you can see behind me. Fantastic ride. The social distancing in the queues is pretty hard. You get people behind you that are right up in your grill and you're in a difficult position of being able to tell them to move away or kind of just letting it go and it's, it's a bit of a difficult one. But it's a fantastic ride. They are staggering the rows, every other row. You have to wear a face mask on the actual ride itself as well. So they pretty much get you to put the face mask on as soon as you enter an inside part of the queue. From that point, you have to have your face mask on throughout. We did see a couple of pictures of people um, that had pulled their face mask down as they're on the ride. There's not a lot of things the team members here can do about that but there's nobody actually policing the queues itself either so if they did that that might help um, but that's a good ride that's a really good ride we're gonna head over the, the wait times are really bad here today 100 minutes for some of the rides and it's quite difficult to socially distance yourself from people but we we'll see what we can get on as I said that was an hour and a half so try and get on something that's going to take a little bit less than that. Alright, so we're in the gloomy woods at the moment. We're at a bit of a crossroads. We've got the sign behind us, so we've got Mutiny Bay in the entrance that way, that's where we came from. Dark Forest and X Sector. We've got Forbidden Valley, Galactica and Nemesis. Let's go this way. Let's go on Galactica. Try a bit of a Superman kind of vibe to it. So Galactica, you sit in the you sit in the ride vehicle, and then it lifts you up. So you're facing the ground or facing the air if you're in an inversion. So this should be fun. One thing about Alton Towers, uh, very much like Disney World, um, obviously it's not in any way, shape, or form the same size as Disney World because that's something like. 27 square miles 
uh, but they do have a sky ride that takes you from one side of the park to the other so as you can see um, also down here uh, where the uh, where the supports are for the sky ride that's going through the gardens so the sky ride actually goes directly over the top of the gardens we're heading now to Galactica and we've just come past a couple of the pagodas through the gardens and uh, hopefully Galactica won't be too long away. minute wait. Um, let's see how that is. Queuing out the entrance. It's now saying 50 minutes. But when we queued up for the Wicker Man, that said it was 70 minutes. And we ended up waiting 90 to 95 minutes. So this could be a little bit longer than 50. Let's hope the wait times are accurate here. So this is posted at a 60 minute wait. Uh, Galactica was posted at a 50 minute wait and we did wait 50 minutes for it. So pretty good accuracy there. Galactica runs two simultaneous road plat uh, load platforms, sorry. So you can load 20 or 24 maximum in each ride vehicle. And they're doing that twice. So the load time on that is very quick. Fantastic ride does make you feel a little bit queasy though you can't see where you go in because the nature of the ride where you lift up you're facing the ground and you've got the um, barrel rolls going in there as well but it's a pretty cool ride and like I said we're now in the queue for Nemesis 60 minutes this is quite a kiddie roller coaster in my opinion it's definitely not for children but should be good uh, I'll show you what it's, what it's like now three rides down now we've done nemesis and we probably only waited about 30 minutes for that in total maybe 35 the queue time was overestimated which is pretty handy we're not feeling too hot now though I think one of the things when you come to a theme park that you don't go to too often and you don't know the layout of the roller coasters it kind of plays with your mind a bit and you're not feeling hot after it so we get some food. We can have a little bit of a wander around, see what see what we can see. There's a few rides that are down at the moment, and the top tier one e-ticket attractions like the Smiler 13. They're an hour and a half wait, and uh, the social distancing in the queues hasn't been great in some cases. So we'll see what happens. We'll um, find a couple of coasters and we'll go and ride something. Uh, but we don't really want to be waiting an hour and a half, so we've got to figure out what to do. Okay, so we figured out the next ride. It's a zero minute wait at the moment. It's probably going to go up. They just made an announcement to say they're going to delay boarding because they're going to put an intense cleaning procedure in place, basically. And they're going to spray down all the rides in between because it is an interesting ride. So this is kind of a cross between Haunted Mansion and Buzz Lightyear Space Ranger Spin at uh, Magic Kingdom or Disneyland or something like that. So you're going through a Haunted Mansion, but you can 
fire at zombies and all sorts. So, let's head inside, let's see who wins. Uh, normally me. Ah. Becky's not that great, but she's... I'm getting evils right now. Let's, let's head inside and let's see what kind of score we can get. Let's go. better than I remember it. That went on for ages, what felt like forever, and you had various rooms, the, s the animatronics were pretty good, they not animatronics, but they're flying out at you, and we just had a pretty good, pretty good run. Uh, as I said, I beat Becky, but it was very close, so she got 26,800, <laughs> and I got 29,000, so not bad, not bad. It was uh, a little bit tight at one point there, not far from the end, she was over she was in front of me and I just uh, clinched it right at the end. So we're gonna maybe try and head on another ride and see where it takes us. The next ride on the agenda is gonna be the Rapids. I can't remember the actual name of this. Congo, Congo, Rapids. Congo River Rapids, Becky said. So um, obviously it's a standard Rapids ride. Looking at it, we're gonna be social distance. Like it'll be just me and Becky in a boat on our own. Got a poncho, because it was raining this morning. We bought these and haven't used them yet, so we're gonna use them now. Uh, Becky might, I don't know. Probably not, actually. Um, the queue was really far out of the main entrance because of the social distancing, but we've got through it really quickly. It, said it was posted as a 15 minute wait, and I think we're pretty much, you know, we're 10 minutes in at the moment, and We've actually still got a fair amount to go, so it might be a little bit longer, maybe a 20 minute wait, but it's not too bad. So, you know what rapids are, you're in a dinghy, you sit normally eight people maximum in a, in a boat, so you have two in each corner, per se, of the circular dinghy, and it'll just float up and down on a river. And sometimes you get things sprayed at you, I don't think you can have that done here. But let's, uh, let's go. Quick update. Um, as we joined the queue, it said it was 15 minute wait. But as we sort of got a little bit further into the queue, we checked the app, it actually had 60 minute wait. So we're kind of at the point of no return at this point now, so we're just carrying on. I don't know if this is gonna be worth 60 minutes, but we're already here now. So, what can you do? We're on the ride, we've got our poncho on. Let's see if this is really rapid. Oh, I'm going backwards. Just finishing up on the rapids, and um, I don't know, very little theming, actually no theming at all. So they could have done a better job on that. It is what it is, unfortunately. 
the actual the actual rapid portion of it was pretty good like you, you had some pretty good movement in there but no theming at all so that was a little bit disappointing good for kids and that'll be enjoyable for kids but as an adult you're a bit neither here nor there about it round two on jewel i still won she got 24,000, I got 30, I think it's 33. Maybe a bit more than that, can't remember. Um, 38? Was it 38? I got 38,000. And she got 24, so um, we were gonna go to 13, but the ride time's gone up to 80 minutes. Smiler's at 80 minutes. Thinking of doing Oblivion, it's only 20 minutes. So we are heading back to Mutiny Bay, maybe get some food on the way and then head over to X Sector, see Oblivion. The Smiler's also in X Sector as well, so it could be that once we come off Oblivion, maybe we'll have a little bit of time left to do the Smiler. But we're not gonna have time to do everything now because it's 4 p.m. I know, they really time. <laughs> it's 4 p.m., so park closes at 6. 10 a.m. till 6 p.m. today. We're not, it's not enough time. And I should buy fast pass. The fast pass situation is quite expensive. It starts at 25 pound, goes up to 75 pound per day, dependent on the rides that you want. And they're all kind of predefined rides as well. You can't choose the rides that you want. So the 25 pound will give you probably the lesser rides. 30 pound will give you those plus one extra. And then, 70 odd pound i think you can get 50 pound one which will do it everything once and then 70 or 75 pound it's everything unlimited for the day if you've got an annual pass and it is a busy day there's only one or two of you maybe splash out for the once everything for once but it's still expensive so before heading up to x sector we stopped to get a little bite to eat we've got a double bacon xl burger here in Mutiny Bay at the Burger Kitchen. Uh, Becky got a portion of four chicken nuggets. We got annual pass holder discount as well which gave us 149 off and that was seven I think it was seven pound fifty in total for the burger and four nuggets. Let's give it a try. It looks like we waited a while so it's freshly cooked. It's nice it tastes fresh well cooked very juicy, very succulent. And get £1.50 off as well, 20% off pass holder discount. Not bad at all. So we'll scoff this down and head on to the next ride. on that 14 inversions longest roller coaster in the UK but it's an 80 minute wait and they're using the queue spots that I've never seen them use before so we're probably not going to do that today um, oblivion which there you go uh, it's a 20 minute wait so we're probably gonna go on that now and hopefully 20 minutes means 20 minutes Let's go inside. So this is Oblivion. This is the ride that we just went on. We it was posted a 20 minute wait. Basically that was the walk. But here we go. That's a big drop. Let's see it one more time. Action replay here. As I said, it's a 20 minute wait, but we actually basically walked on the ride. Here we go. So we're going to call it a day here at Alton Towers Resort. Like I said earlier, we got an annual pass anyway. Uh, they were doing an offer up until I think it was the 22nd of July. You pay £35 and then you pay £12 a month, so £11.99 a month. And you've got your annual pass. That just charges to your credit card, so you don't have to worry about it. And 
we've had a pretty good day. It's been crazy busy here today. Smiler is still at 80 minutes. 13 is still at 80 minutes. So we left it on Oblivion. That's what we're gonna finish on today. But as I said, we've had a good time. We've got some stuff that we're gonna be doing again in the future. We've got reason to come back, obviously. Um, they've been pretty good. Their processes and procedures have been fairly good. Uh, everybody's worn a mask on the rides. That's a mandatory thing. People aren't always social distancing and the cast, the team members, sorry, they're not checking that you are socially distancing. So that's a bit of a letdown. But other than that, they're not too bad. They're not cleaning the rides down as much as we would like. So that's a bit of a bummer. But hey, we've had a good time overall. So if you've had a good time with us, hit the thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, hit the bell icon to be notified when we post a new video. See you on the other side. Thanks.